Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Hearts of Iron 4, the Great War Redux mod, playing as France and going for a um, somewhat unconventional proto-fascist uh, ahistorical route. That's going to be kind of fun for us. We'll see what ends up happening. Right now, my preferred leader is about to retire, which is going to get a little irritating pretty quick, but we'll hold on to this as long as we can. Uh, maybe, just maybe, we can get somebody a little bit better. We are trying to prepare for the next round of elections, at which point we are going to be consolidating the right wing into one big party. And there goes our preferred leader. We get a new guy with a stammer. Less good, obviously, but oh well. Uh, as far as some new technology, I think we're going to focus on the naval game a little bit. Let's get some submarines and some cruisers researched. At this stage of the world history in World War I, I don't think that naval power was as obviously pronounced as it was around World War II, where the US, uh, the UK, and Japan were the world leaders. I could be wrong on that historically, I don't remember. But I'm willing to bet that the sooner we pick this up, maybe we can start putting together a competent navy that actually lets us have some uh, power to deal with the Germans or the UK or whoever else we're gonna end up fighting at some point. I have no idea. So the next elections are about to be done. That's gonna be good. The question is what happens after that? So this will be done. Now we have military exhibition in Petersburg, excellent. So we have options here. We could go for the expansion of the military budget for some extra factories, I like that. Ban socialism and take over all their seats. Persecute minorities. Um, which is actually really good. Hello. So this is really powerful, huh? Oh my gosh, that's really powerful, look at this. Stability, political power, stability, war support for a year. Wow. Here's the thing that's a trick, though. You have to have someone specific as the country leader. How do I do that? How do I control that? I would think it has something to do with the coalition here, right? Wait, what do we band together? The popular liberal action, nationalists, independent Republicans, and conservative seats. So those four parties are all together. So there's the popular liberal action, vacant, nationalists, independent Republicans, conservatives. So this is all we own right here. So we have 27%. So not enough to form a real coalition and guarantee that we have a far right leader in the country. Which makes me think that we could get replaced pretty quickly. I think I'm gonna try to ban socialism because if I do that and all of these radical socialist seats flip, or even if not them, at least these flip, then maybe I'll have enough majority that I'll be able to keep these things going, whereas I feel like there's a chance that this gets lost. I could be wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have revived the national spirit. Maybe I should have done this first, do you think? No, because our guy only just recently retired. This wouldn't have timed out very nicely. And also, it only takes over the SFIO seats, so it's not a massive swing in my direction. But it is, it is a fair number. It's 75. You flip that over to my side, and it'll make us a lot stronger, for sure. Well, we're gonna try for that. Let's see what happens. In the meantime, I can get myself another leader. Political power, probably, yeah. We're not gonna be able to get um, an upgrade to our mobilization law for a bit, because unfortunately, it looks like we are going down in world tension, not up. I keep getting off center of this camera. Right. Anyway, um, so if we're not gonna get that right away, then I might as well start stacking up more political power as fast as possible, am I right? I think so. Um, as far as logistics, how are we looking? Pretty good. We're improving now that I'm not training up more troops. Motorized destroyer hulls, excellent. Let's go for support weapons and let's go for cruisers. We'll try for cruiser meta. I have no idea how that applies in World War I, um, but if we go for heavy cruisers with extremely high light attack and then roach uh, torpedo submarines, that should be fairly powerful, am I right? So we need to hold off on this for like a month. I don't know how re uh, rapidly these guys retire. Maybe we're gonna be fine and I'm worried about nothing. The Republic of Liberia joins the Entente. Question, Liberia, do you have any problems that would prevent you from joining? They're agrarian, okay. Thomas Jefferson Faulkner. Um. Okay. Someone we can use against the Germans in the future, I guess? Not that I think the Entente is gonna stick around forever, but like, maybe? It's a thing. 
Other decisions. I don't know why we can see some of these great war options here, but, you know, they're a thing. Grow some rubber. Uh, that's tempting. We're okay on rubber at the moment, but at some point we're going to need that. Once I start going for actual motorized. Though I can't imagine motorized are going to be very powerful in World War I. It's really all about getting that uh, artillery up and running. Lots of leg infantry, lots of entrenchment, lots of artillery. And maybe at some point we learn how to make tanks, but it's going to be a bit. Anyway, so we're about to successfully ban socialism, I hope. Population supports the government policy, so 2% more. No! This guy's trying to retire. Okay, if he retires, then someone else will take over. Who? A guy who will... Okay, I have to hold out and hope that I can make this. How long until I have to force a decision? Six days? I'll just have enough time to ban socialism before someone else takes over. All right, so we didn't at least lose this. And we also got rid of the Champagne Riots. Hey. All right, so someone else takes over. He's a corrupt minister. He's terrible. But on the other hand, we just seized a lot of power. We've got 43%. All I need to do is get the Republican Federation on my side, and we'd have a very slim uh, majority here, right? Very slim. Okay, so now I can't persecute minorities. Dang it! <laughs> I, j I kid, of course, for God's sake. Forced conscription in the colonies. Okay. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some, like, industrial innovation at some point here soon. That said, going for four extra military factories right now strikes me as pretty decent. Machu Picchu has been uncovered. Lost in around 1550. Really? It was, it was it really actually inhabited that long? For some reason, I kind of figured it was a lo lost a lot sooner, but I guess that wouldn't be true. No, 1550 makes sense. Huh. Okay. Honestly, I didn't realize that Machu Picchu was only really uncovered into, uh, until, like, the uh, early 20th century. But all right, I learned something today. So we got a bit more research we can work on. Let's see. It's July of 1911. I'm not going to worry about things like battleships. Death charges, no. Carriers, no. Could go for some torpedoes. Um, we're already working on everything there. We could start working on upgrades to my artillery, and that's not a bad plan. Let's not forget, by the way, there is apparently a difference between howitzers and artillery in this stage of the game. Howitzers having really good soft attack. Three times the soft attack of artillery. Worse breakthrough and more expensive, but much more soft attack. Huh. That said... It does, it does look to me like at some point we'll be able to field more artillery pretty reliably. I don't even know what's going to be better there, to be honest. Um, Nothing here strikes me as something we need to get right now. So I'm going to go ahead and research an upgrade for the torpedoes so I can get an upgrade to my submarines. And then we'll probably get some new variants made. And I'm just going to start pumping out lots of sub twos. That's all I'm going to be able to afford for at least a bit. Any traits that I feel like I really need here? Entrenchment speed. If you were a better defensive general, I would say you'd be pretty good. That said, entrenchment speed makes a lot of sense in World War I. When we advance, you need to be able to entrench quickly in order to prevent them from moving you back, right? Pretty sure that's how it's going to work. We've somehow lost control down to 43%, I think. That said, it should only get better, right? I mean, my power should only be going up. Democracy is actively bleeding out. Hmm... Military high command. We can get more army experience. That's hard to say no to, if I'm honest. The more experience you get, the better. Okay. We are allocating a lot of our command power at the moment. I could go for another one right now. Crime on the rise in the Parisian suburbs. 256 seats. Zero more... Zero. I don't know what this means. More and more various facts list the actions of groups of thugs in the Parisian suburbs. The Bonnet, uh, Bonnot, Bonnot Gang? Bonnot Gang? A dangerous underworld committing thefts, assassinations, and break-ins. Parliamentarians cannot agree. Remove a civilian factory. Or police will take care of this. Because we have enough seats, I control enough seats, we can try to have local police deal with this instead of losing a factory. Okay. Sounds good. I'm up to 17 civilian factories now, so, I mean, we're, we're improving a little bit. Um, do I go for this to just stack up that army experience fast? We're gaining 0.26 per day. The Mona Lisa was stolen! Oh my god, no! 
Yeah, let's just go ahead. I kind of suspect I'm going to need to do a lot of template shifts around, so uh, let's just do that. Um, I don't like a lot of these templates. Some of these templates are obscenely expensive. Like, some of these templates really are extremely expensive. Huge templates. And the Battleship Liberté explodes. Boom. Bye. Great. All right, we've expanded the military budget. Uh, we could go for some war support. I think at this point, I am going to go for industrial innovation. And we're hoping this guy is thrown out of power somehow. I don't really know how that happens, but I'm hoping somehow he goes. I need more seats. The next election isn't until, like, 1914. Which, like, we're talking World War at that point, so... I'm not sure how well that's going to work out for me. Uh, could start making howitzers. Could start making some motorized. Armored cars don't strike me as that important. More fighters strikes me as pretty helpful, though. Let's go ahead and start producing a few of those. The sooner we get some of them going, build up some efficiency, the better. Cruiser holes done. Excellent. More support weapons as well. Alright, not going to worry about the rest of that. Um... Let's go ahead, get the oil, because I might do some synthetics. And let's get ahead of time on the analytical machine, because I don't have anything better. I might as well get ahead on something that gets me more research speed. Question, can I make oil? No, I need synthetic oil experiments. Um, That's oil production here. There it is down here. Wait. Interesting. Okay. So, synthetic oil plus 5%, but we don't get synthetic oil until we get down here. That seems weird, right? Okay. Russia wants to leave the Entente. That sucks. But it's not really surprising, given that they're going to have a civil war of their own at some point. There's a torpedo launcher done. Let's go ahead and get that artillery upgraded. Also, at least now I don't have to worry about someone else taking over leadership of the Entente. Haha, -ha, Britain, you shall remain my friend for a long time. We're getting the industrial in innovation at a pretty good time. I should be able to rush down some extra construction tech pretty quick. The Xinhai Revolution is taking place. Okay. So that's kind of fun. Yep, China appears to be exploding right about now. Just your average Ming plosion. That's all. Not a big deal. Empire of Japan. That's Korea, right. Who's leading Japan right now? Mutsuhito. M uh, sorry, Mutsuhito. Huh, okay. Mutsuhito. Those are four different letters, I believe, from the Japanese alphabet. Hiragana, or whatever it's called. I don't know for sure. All right, Russia abandons the French. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That just makes me feel sad. Anyway, more civilian factories and bonuses for a lot of stuff, plus some extra steel. Uh, this is worth a shocking number of civilian factories. Holy crap. We can get a lot of factories. Wow. I would like the army loyalty. However, we will not be able to do things like the Law of Exile because I chose none of the monarchist routes. So this is the furthest we can go, and I don't need the war support right now. And until I can properly persecute minorities with a different leader, I can't do anything else politically. So we might as well focus on more economy. Metropolitan investments, four factories there. Two here, four here, two here, and electronics. Um, let's we'll go ahead and do them here, I guess. Let's start with the Metropolitan Investments. Build local, build French. All right, going down the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. We've already got as many cost reductions as I really can get at this point. So we'll go ahead and boost up our organization and our entrenchment speed and, as important, our max entrenchment, since that's oh so crucial to holding some front lines. Speaking of front lines, let's go ahead and set up a chunk of troops over here. And then I think we just split our troops between, like, Belgium and Italy for now. I don't really know what else to do with them, if I'm honest. We should need it for a bit. Um, when do I get more seats and control who's in charge? I need a coalition, please. I need to get rid of this guy. Joseph Kalo? Kalo? How do you say that? He's corrupt and he sucks and I hate him. He's costing me a lot of consumer goods and stuff. Get rid of this guy. Oh, by the way, we have political tension because of China. 
Fantastic! All right, I just need some more political power, and we can finally go to a better thing. Italy declares war on the Ottoman Empire. Well, hello. You're part of the Central Powers, so I don't worry about that too much. Ottomans are part of no faction, so I don't care about that. They're trying to take over Libya, and I'm pretty sure Italy's going to succeed. Pretty sure. I don't really care about them Ottomans, though. The Ottomans, just freaking go and do your own thing. I don't care. I don't even care. Worry about you another time. Just keep them distracted while I build up a better economy so I can finally take on the Central Powers. We have to take Alsace-Lorraine. We have to protect it. alsace Lothringe is what you call it, Lothringen. I do look forward to sailing down the Rhine River in a bit. It'll be fun. Daily support for authoritarian, a new member of the Democratic Party, okay? New ministerial elections. Anyways, Yahoo. Yeah, I'm gonna sail down the Rhine River. I'm actually uh, planning out some summer vacation. This is gonna be the last vacation I've got with my wife for a bit. So we're gonna start up here in uh, Bern and uh, stuff and then head down to Basel. No, sorry, we're gonna fly into Zurich, then go to Basel. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sail down the Rhine River. It'll be fun. Stopping by Germany, France, end up in uh, the Netherlands. Get in touch with my Dutch roots as if that matters as an American, but there you go. They wipe peace out, really? Oh, you took Libya though, that was pretty quick, good for you. Anyway, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a fun trip. I'm hoping I might be able to stop by the Maginot Line, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, we got that. So are you one of those people that doesn't like persecuting minorities? He likes persecuting minorities! <laughs> Let's go for it, it's really powerful. The Contestado War in Brazil, okay? So once again, we're seeing more world tension. Well, I wish I had a lot more political power now, but we're gonna be able to move on to this pretty soon. Would be great to move on to partial mobilization if you guys want to just cause a bit more tension? Will, will, will persecuting minorities cause tension? Because that'd be kind of fun. Just saying. Wouldn't mind that. But anyway. Yeah, no, we'll go for partial uh, early mobilization for sure. I mean, I want this, but there's no guarantee this is going to go up anytime soon. And right now, I really need the factory construction speed and the consumer goods reduction. Plus, getting rid of that corrupt guy was nice. Uh, the improve in authoritarian power isn't that great in that it does uh, sort of even out my proto-fascism, but it does continue to eat away at the uh, socialists and the democrats, so I'm kind of all right with that. Going for 1914 tech right now seems a bit aggressive, so I think we hold off on that nonsense. Uh, we can go for upgrades to construction. It's pretty far ahead of time. 349 days is a long time. I'm not gonna waste it on anything else. We don't need anything here. There's really not a lot to research at the beginning of the game, is there? Well, we can all go ahead and get this stuff at least. Some extra soft attack and stuff, I don't know. We can wait a little bit. I would love to get that construction tech. I'm willing to go ahead of time on it, but maybe not until like 1913. But if I run out of stuff to do, I might as well just do it, you know? I mean, why not? Anyway, please don't retire for a bit. I need you to stay in charge, Mr. Authoritarian Monarchist Media Mogul person. Maurice, I like the name Maurice. Just gonna say it, I like the name Maurice. I think it sounds very good. Very masculine, very flash. Very good. All right, so um, he's a horrible person who's gonna persecute minorities, and somehow that's the objectively best choice. It's gonna make, uh, it's gonna make us pretty powerful here. That's a, that's a lot of stability coming our way. French superiority. Yeah, why not? We'll raise that world tension so I can go for the, uh, the partial mobilization. You're welcome, world. Oh, I want to go for this, by the way. Professional Army Corps. Let's get that extra army experience going. So now we're making 0.37 per day. That's a lot. That was a lot of army experience to get for free per day. Me likey. Uh, we could do some similar stuff for our ships. Light ship design cost. That would save me a bit. Cruiser design cost, naval designer cost. Or we could boost our experience gain by a little bit. I don't know if this really pays for itself anytime soon, though. Research speed for all naval stuff? Wow. That'd be pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. What about Air Force? Advisor. 15% boost. Experience? I mean, 15% boost will be okay. It's not huge, though. I kind of wouldn't mind just having some... You know what? We're doing that. I want to have some daily experience being gained. Um, when it comes to ships, I don't think it's a bad idea to just make it so we can research the best stuff really fast. Reducing design cost will save me a fair bit of XP, but I think I'd rather just do this. When it comes to the Navy, I, I think we'll have experience to spare. 
I want to be able to research the best ships, the best ship hulls, more than anything else. Why is our supply abysmal over here? I don't know. Let's go to this. I can change them to motorize. I don't even think I have motorized, though. The Balkan League exists. Okay. I should probably allow myself to start making motorized at some point. We are producing factories at a pretty decent pace now. We've almost got two full lines, so we're getting there. And by the time we're done with French superiority, world tension's gonna go up enough that I can go for the next level right away. Technically speaking, it might have been better from a political power perspective to uh, not go for the early mobilization, but oh well. The weapons reliability law. Make infantry equipment expensive, but reliable. Uh, impose a lightening of the law. So the same thing, but for only 60 days. Or oppose it. Nothing happens. I don't really see the advantage of reliability for ten, uh, for 60 days. I also don't really see the harm in it, to be honest, but... Nah, let's just not. Let's just slow it down. I don't care about it. Doesn't strike me as that important, if I'm completely honest. It seems kind of irrelevant. Anyway, we're going to say that the French are superior because we're racist. And I'm going to move on to partial mobilization. Which gets me even more factories. We actually have more to work with now. I will build out at least a couple of factories, uh, military factories, and then I think after that we go back to civilians. Just for a little while. New options, the authoritarian coup, get rid of a disjointed government, yeah. I think we do that. Okay, research available. Um, we want to go for support weapons, I think. We're about to get that oil production boost, me. Doesn't do an absolute ton for me. More planes are in reserve. Yeah, duly noted, don't care. We have very few planes to begin with, and I have to say, I'm just straight out disappointed that these blimps are not able to bomb things. I would like to have been able, oh, sorry, not bomb, close air support. I would have liked to be able to close air support things, but for some reason I wasn't allowed. Yup, yup, wow. Thank you for putting the uh, Catholic cross on there with the fascist terror, yikes, dude. <laughs> Persecuting those minorities like pros. Well done, French. Okay, um, well, hmm. Logistics companies would be a good thing to get. We'll go ahead and research that. Since, again, I haven't got much else that's better. Though we now can do naval research pretty fast. I probably should have grabbed that uh, upgrade a little bit sooner. Would have been nice. No trucks available. Yeah, I kind of need to be able to produce some trucks. We're not able to get any extra supply over here. The infantry equipment's going, though. That'll be good. We can modify the officer corps again. The emperor is dead in China. Yikes. Yikes, bruh. Coup in Serbia. Hmm. Entrenchment speed and max entrenchments, really good. Uh, I think I will go for that. Static Warfare, it just stacks up nicely with what we've already got for entrenchment. We're basically going to get ungodly amounts of entrenchment and just sort of hope that that carries me to victory. Um, as far as other research... I don't know. We could go for just upgrades to uh, to weapons. Damage control, fire control. Damage control is usually a good thing to get. Light attack. We do want... None of this strikes me as very important. I'm just going to eat the cost and go for an early upgrade to construction tech. You heading out, Anyali? Alright, have fun. Love you. She's got to go to the school, even though it's a weekend at the time I'm recording this right now. Feel sorry for teachers, man. Respect your teachers. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe, give them a nice gift or something sometime. I'm just saying, that wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Logistically, how are we doing? We're very behind on infantry equipment, which is one of the reasons I didn't really see a reason to increase our cost by 50%. Like, why? Why bother? It just doesn't make a lot of sense, you know? It's, li it's, it's like algebra, you know? You put in the why because it stands for why do we care? That's a Calvin and Hobbes joke, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. An authoritarian coup! Georges Valoy obtains full powers. All right, he managed to get himself voted on full powers, rewriting the Constitution. The authoritarian leader announced he has grandiose plans for France, known as a fervent defender of national syndicalism. Pardon moi? You're a filthy syndicalist? This changes everything! Yeah. All right, we're actually known as National Socialists, which, as people like to say, is not true socialism. New leader mentioned his views on neighboring Francophone minority territories. Hello, low countries. Belgium? How you doing there, Belgium? 
uh, manipulate the mass, change the popularity, the National Syndicalist Party, and make him a dictator who gets me political power gain and also lets me justify war goals uh, at half the speed. That's pretty nice. <laughs> French expansionism. Make a lot of people angry. Question, are you part of the Entente? You're not. Uh, we could just eat them. Army of Aggression. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First Lille Award. George Valois asks for our submission. I mean, I could do that. I, I, I could ask people to just submit to me, willingly, but like, me, me. Unlimited budget, I need 350 st seats. This seems good, no matter what. Uh, as much as I like extra factories, you know what I really like? Conquering factories. All right, we got rid of one of the ideas that was getting me for like free stability or something, but who cares? I'm already at like 100% stability. The French state now exists, and by God, we're we're a unified people. Tell you what, man, we are a unified people. So now I could move on to things like war economy. No, I have to. I can't. No, I have to actually be at war. So this is the best I can do for a bit. But at some point, we're gonna have to move on to upgrades to conscription law and so on. We probably should go for things like industrial concern, armaments dealer. Captain of Industry, Sant Monarchist, Proto-Fascist, we don't need that right now. I think I will go for the Captain of Industry guy. Just because anything that allows me to build up these civilian factories a bit faster still just snowballs. At the end of the day, a lot of this game really does still come down to, uh, to that. This is a pretty cool looking French flag, by the way. Gosh, you look so creepy. Look at you. Look how happy he is with his concerning mustache and his front two teeth being st stuck and sticking out like this. He's like a beaverman. Georges Valois is a beaverman. Okay. Uh, we le receive damage. Fire at a military factory. As long as it wasn't sabotage, I'm okay with that. We can repair that pretty quick. But if it were sabotage, you better believe I'm going to be arresting some people. It was probably it was probably the minorities. <laughs> oh, man. That actually hurt. Wow. Um, I'm not trying to be the baddie in this, okay? I didn't write... I didn't, I didn't choose to make persecuting minorities this good. <laughs> I didn't, I swear to God. Anyways, you who? Uh, all right, let's see, 1912. Um, if we're already working on this, we can go ahead and get the extra base and retention. This doesn't do a lot. Wait, this doesn't do much at all, does it? No, it does. The extra base or the extra efficiency cap? Are we even close to the efficiency cap? We are, actually. All right, let's go, let, 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 let's go ahead and do this. We'll get ahead of time on this sucker as well. It's gonna take a long, long time. Notice we're only just starting it, by the way, and we're only like a couple days behind construction. That's the thing about being this far ahead of time, it's like, there's almost not a lot of point in researching things ahead of time. It's it's not, yeah, anyway. Still only 43% control, despite the fact that we are literally making this uh, Beaverman into a, uh, a bit of a dictator at the moment. The second Russian, Russian Revolution, you know, Creepy. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Anyway, you're not a part of the uh, Entente anymore, so... Good thing I don't have to worry about you at all, huh? Uh, I can't do French expansionism because I need memories of 1870... I have to get rid of that somehow. How do I get rid of memories? Ah! I need a search. Hang on! Go to the thing! Memories. Of the commune? No. No, that's not it. Uh. Ah! Okay, we have to get rid of this. Got it, okay. So I need to go for the revision of the army, and then I need to go for Beyond Fear, which gets rid of it. Then I can go and conquer uh, people. Okay. Well, it sounds to me like my path is clearer. We will go for some cost reductions for our doctrines. War in the Balkans. Oh, a powder keg, you say? They're trying to eat up the Ottomans, you say? Makes sense to me. That's fine. Go forth. Have fun. I don't mind. It's fine. Um, We probably should go for an industrial concern or an electronics concern guy. Wait, that's not what I expected. Radar research and support unit research. No, no, no. Industrial research, excavation tech research, railway construction. Ooh, see, 15% supply hub construction is actually pretty good. 
But, I mean, ah, mm -hmm. we're sacrificing 5% industrial research to be able to get our supplies up and running a lot faster if we do this. But, that said, I have to invest in the SNCF, uh, which I cannot do. So, the question is, do we go for this? Or materials? Motorized? Infantry equipment research speed? Nah. Planes? Would love that. Conscription law? Don't need right now. I think we go for the industrial concern. We'll speed that up. That at least should help me burn through the construction of machine tools research a little faster. How are we doing as far as some uh, construction of stuff? Pretty good. The economy's definitely getting better. The consumer goods are manageable at least. It's not great, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. And in the meantime, once we get this going, we'll be able to move on to Beyond Fear. So we get over our self-doubts as the French. We say, you know what? We are, in fact, superior people. And then uh, I go for French expansionism. And we're going to peeve off a lot of people. The US, the UK, Spain. Wait, I get claims on Spain? Yes! This is going to be fun. All right. This is why I wanted to go for a white wing, right wing playthrough. It turns out you got to do a lot of fun, aggressive things. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.